guys i am so so excited also a tiny bit nervous because i get quite anxious about getting a new pet especially a pet that i don't already have that species of and that's what we're doing today it has been 11 years since i was a chinchilla mum and i won't go too much into the entire story of it but i had this chinchilla his name was Coda. he was so so cute and basically I was doing work experience at a big chain pet store and they had this chinchilla in the back that had something wrong with him nobody really looked into what was going on but he was not eating properly not pooping properly and no one was really paying him any attention so they said that I could take him home and I didn't even have him for the best part of a week before he unfortunately passed away so I was robbed of that experience. I loved him so, so much. And ever since then, I've always wanted to own chinchillas again. And that is what we're doing. So I will admit, I did not expect it to be quite so soon. I have been brushing up on my research and information. A lot has changed in the 11 years that it's been since I owned chinchillas. So making sure that I'm clued up on everything but I have been loosely looking on selling sites for chinchillas in particularly bad conditions to hopefully adopt or rescue some. I found a couple that are in pretty dire cages and conditions and just not really had a response. I have been specifically looking at pairs that have already been bonded just to hopefully avoid doing that. But I have come across an advert and Sometimes you just look at an animal and you just kind of get this feeling that they are supposed to be in your life and that is just the feeling that I had so we are going to pick her up tomorrow and she is so so freaking cute. So this is what she looks like. She is an 11 month old violet chinchilla and the thing that drew me to her advert was the fact that she's being free roamed with a bunch of dogs which does make me really really nervous. It's not something that I would personally do, even with the most well-natured, well-tempered dogs, they can accidentally hurt such a delicate animal, so that is making me very slightly nervous, and I would love to have more time to prepare. I am such a prepper when it comes to things like this. I would have weeks if it came to it, just to make sure I had absolutely everything and more, but things are happening quite quickly. She was almost going to give her to someone else, and I would hate for someone else to look at these pictures and think that she can also go to live with their dogs and play with their dogs or something similar. So I panicked very slightly when she said that someone else was going to get her. I wanted to kind of get ahead of that and get her instead. So happening pretty quickly, I've ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon Prime and she does come with her cage and everything she needs, which... I'm not fully trusting that just in case, so I've ordered all of the like necessities, hay, food, toys, dust, things like that, that should hopefully be coming tomorrow as well. So it's all a little bit of a chaotic rush, not personally how I like to do it. I do like to have a bit more time to prepare, but it's just how things have worked out. So come along for the ride, I'll be changing things as we go along, but she's so, so cute. And I just know that she's meant to be mine. Also, before we get any further into this video, don't worry, I do plan on getting her a friend very, very soon. Strangely enough, when I told one of my friends that runs an animal rescue that I'm planning on getting her, they have just taken in a big case of chinchillas into their rescue, so I'm not going to be sure on friends I can adopt. Later on, when they're ready to be adopted, I'm going to adopt one from them too, so... That's going to be coming in a separate video, but I am getting her a friend ASAP and just hoping that it all goes to plan. But yeah, I have got a chinchilla to prepare for, so I will see you when she is here. So it is the next morning now. We got back pretty late last night, so we literally just set the cage up as it was and then put her back in so she could settle in. And I just wanted to kind of talk you through what she came with just for educational purposes. The people that had her were so, so lovely and you could really tell they did love her so much. But I just wanted to kind of talk through some of the things that she came with and what I'm gonna be changing and things I've been switching out for her just 
to improve her care. So gonna kind of run you through everything she's got in this cage and also some of the things that she came with and then show you what I bought for her instead. So, so far she's pretty confident she's probably gonna try to come out because she just does not have any fear, do you? Can we show people your cage? <laughs> so yeah, obviously the first thing that she has is the cage itself. This is a single level little zoo Ventura. Are you off? Where are you going? <laughs> this is a single level little zoo Ventura, which is the cage that I do use with my rats. Um, I do intend on buying the second level for this and extending it upwards. But for now, this is okay just for one chinchilla, so not the worst cage in the world for her to have come with. Some people keep their chinchillas in much more smaller setups, so this is good. She does then also have a water bottle, so this, this one is plastic, and if you know anything about chinchillas, it is recommended not to use any plastic anywhere near their cage, so she has got a glass one to replace that. She does then also have these levels in the cage which have got these like fluffy liner things. Um, chinchillas, the only fabric you want to use with them is like anti-pill fleece, which these are not. So as much as she seems to enjoy sitting on these, these are gonna have to go. <laughs> Let's take this out for you, look. There you go. <laughs> Make yourself at home. You're so funny. Anyway, right. So yeah, unfortunately these are gonna have to come out just to be safe. Um, she's got some sort of wooden chew. These hammocks, I think I recognize these. They're from Cozy Beds and Burrows, which they are fleece, but I think these bits, she has been chewing them. These bits are not fleece, so I don't think that can stay just to be safe because as you can see, she has been chewing at this fabric, which we don't want. So I think those are gonna have to go as well, which is so sad because she seems to love sleeping on this. Then up on the shelf, we have another one of those like fluffy liner things. Down on the bottom, she's got this coconut, which I don't think she would have ever fit inside of this. She does enjoy sitting on top of it though, which is quite cute. So. She's got that, she's got some more of these like fluffy liner things, a plastic ball in the back, and then my first ball, that is so cute. Um, a food bowl, she is on a very, very interesting food. I've not seen this brand before. Um, it looks like this. This is not really the best food to feed them just because it is kind of a random mix of things. It's got carrot in, which they should not be having at all definitely not on a regular basis hi <laughs> so yeah she did come with two bags of this food which apparently she's not even really a big fan of so hoping the food that i switch her to is going to be a lot more appropriate and that she also likes it better so yeah she's got her food bowl and then she's come to demonstrate she's got this wooden house which she has chewed a fair bit i think because she doesn't have many other wooden chews in the cage she has gone to town on this, so that probably needs replacing with a new one. And then this pile of hay is something that I just added in quickly last night because she didn't come with any hay. I don't think, besides like the bits in this strange food, I don't think she's really had much hay. So hoping that she enjoys this. She seems to have eaten a fair bit of it. So just pop that in very quickly last night. She did also come with a dust bath, which is now all up the wall, and then a tub of extra dust. I'm not entirely sure what brand of dust they've been using, um, so I have ordered a different bag of dust. And then she did come with some treats, which unfortunately, as much as she does enjoy eating these, these are probably going to go to the rats instead because they shouldn't really be having like biscuit type treats. I think they've got like strawberries. Um, these ones are definitely strawberry flavour, which shouldn't really be fed to chinchillas. So, unfortunately, as much as she does seem to enjoy them, I've seen her eat a couple in her previous home. 
I'm not going to be feeding her any more of those. Stop eating the skirting board. Although she does seem to enjoy them, I'm so sorry. You're not having any more of these. These can go to the rats. Oh yeah, and also a little poop scoop thing, which is kind of cute. So that is everything that she came with outside of her cage, inside of her cage. I have ordered a bunch more things that are coming or have just arrived downstairs this morning. So going to be giving her cage a little makeover just to make it a bit safer, a bit more enriching and appropriate for her. But so far she is having the time of her life, aren't you? You're not scared at all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what I've done with her setup. I'm not quite finished yet. I do need to still buy her a Tic Tac wheel and also some tiles and things to go on the ledges. But uh, considering that I didn't even know that I was getting a chinchilla about two weeks ago, I don't think I've done too bad. So definitely not quite finished yet, but I would say it's an improvement from what she had before. So I will show you what she's got. She's got a lot of pine shelving now. This one is from mystorebogglebuddies.com and then I've also bought two of these ones. These are from a seller called My Chinchilla and they've got little holes in. I've not seen her actually go through the holes yet but I think you can also put things like food bowls in the holes too. So she's got one there and then another one at the back too. She then also has this wooden and acrylic hay rack. This is from My Chinchilla as well. And inside is Timothy Hay from Haybox. And then if you look at it from this angle, it has a little window on the front, just showing you how much hay is left. And then I've stuck a digital thermometer on, which I'm not entirely sure if this is reading correct or not, because it's showing pretty warm in here, even at night time. Um, but the temperature is getting up, so I have ordered her an aircon. That should have been here like three days ago, but for some reason it's got like lost in transit somehow. So I need to chase that because it's getting up to about 20 degrees, which is not ideal. So hoping that turns up soon, but don't worry, I have ordered one. And then, oh, you've gone back in. Are you demonstrating? Here she goes. So then on the bottom of her cage, she's now got some kiln dried pine shavings and then also a willow ball. This was also from my chinchilla. This is so cute. I've not again seen her go in this. I really want to, but she enjoys sitting on the top. And then we've got this again. This was from my chinchilla. Hello. <laughs> this branch, this is from my store Boggle Buddies. This is on the safe list of woods for chinchillas. It's manzanita wood. And then I have switched her to a metal water bottle, but I don't know where I've put, I had this already. I don't know where I've put the like metal attachment thing because I don't really want her chewing this like paracord texture. So I'm gonna have to try and find that. I think it's in my garage with the rest of my like spare other animal supplies. I'm gonna have to try and find that, but Oh my goodness. She's then got some other chew toys. This one at the back is from my store. And then I've switched out her hammocks, which I already had for my rats, but these ones are completely made of fleece, which is good because she's not gonna be, hopefully, chewing that bit too much. And then, as I said before, this is just one of the My Chinchilla ledges at the back. And then I've just kept in one of the metal trays for the cage. I was tempted to keep both of them in, but it was quite cramped. Um, so just the one, this just has again, like pine shavings on the top, um, a bowl of herbs and stuff. This foraging toy, I thought I'd try it with her because I'm still very much in the mindset of wanting to give my animals foraging toys from having rats. She very quickly was like, nope, that is not staying on the top. So I just kind of put her like pellet food in this just to try and give her some sort of challenge, but very much aware that I'm still kind of in like rat care mindset with wanting to give her those things. And then we've got a willow carrot chew toy. She then has another chew toy at the front and then this hanging like cube house. Again, this is from my chinchilla. 
I feel like they're gonna get a lot of my money over the next like 15, 20 years or so. I've not seen her go in this yet. I really, really want to. Hello, are you hungry? <laughs> but yeah, that is her cage setup. Oh my gosh. Why are you just the cutest thing ever? As I said, I am planning on getting her a Tic Tac wheel, tiles, more chew toys, things like that. And then eventually extending this and getting the little zoo venture attachment. But when she gets a friend, they're gonna be living separately in that until I introduce them. And then hopefully once they're bonded, they can have the entire second level of the cage together. But yeah, that is her current setup. Please tell me if I'm missing anything or there's any stores you think I should be checking out because I just really want to spoil her. I've spent so much money on her already. I don't think I even mentioned her dust bath. That's not in there all the time, just kind of sporadically. It just happens to be in there right now, but I have got my eyes on a really nice one that I want to buy. Um, but I'm just trying to like calm down and stop spending so much money, but definitely leave any stores in the comments that you think I should be checking out because I just want to spoil her and give her all the things. I definitely think she's really enjoying this setup compared to before because I can hear her at like three in the morning, crashing around, jumping, bouncing off of everything. So she's definitely having a good time in here and I'm well aware these chew toys are not gonna last long. This is already her like second round of toys because you give her them and then come in the next day and they're completely demolished. So I just want to spoil her with all the nice things. So definitely leave me any like chinchilla shops that I should be checking out in the comments if you also have chinchillas too. One thing I did want to ask if you also have chinchillas is how are you protecting your skirting boards? Because the first couple of days I had her, I just let her out and she has gone to town on the skirting board. So luckily I had these in the garage already. I don't have enough of the like connector things to do the tops as well, but I've covered most of the skirting boards in here, she's still trying to get to them. So long term, what do you do? Do you put extra wood on them or metal or something? Please let me know how to preserve my skirting boards because that is her favorite pastime, trying to destroy them. Guys, look at this. This is the cutest thing ever. Hi. Oh, he's so nice. Oh my goodness. Wow, you like the scritches. You love the scritches. Oh my goodness. So you can kind of see a little bit of it there. Um, but I was so worried when I first got her because her chin was completely filthy. Um, nothing wet or new, but it was all completely like crusted and yellow like this. And I'm worried about her teeth, so I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looked like the day that I got her. But it's looking so, so much better. Obviously I've changed her diet, I've changed her dust, and I think that is helping. But yeah, she had a very, very stained yellow crusty chin, didn't you? You a chin with a crusty chin? I realize I've not even told you her name yet. Her name is Nebula, and I've been calling her Nebby for short. And I picked this name because it goes with a name that I've had 
set aside for a chinchilla for years and years and that is going to be her future friend so he is coming very very soon he is a neutered male that i'll talk about more at the end of the video but yeah i picked her name specifically to go with his name that you guys will find out in the next video so she is in metal carrier prison because today my vet is coming to do a health check on her and she is absolutely fuming. I need to buy bigger blankets for the bottom, um, fleece blankets. I'm just using hammocks for now because I don't have anything else and it's just like a plain wire bottom but she is so mad about being in here. It's not going to be for too long. Um, just to have a health check on her, I booked this the day after I picked her up, I think, so a couple of weeks ago, when I was really, really concerned about her teeth, just because of how stained her chin was, but now it looks almost perfectly fine. There's a tiny, tiny, like, crusty bit left, but I'm nowhere near as concerned as I was a couple of weeks ago, so hopefully my vet also feels the same. Um, she also has chinchillas, so could not be in better hands. I'm really excited for her to meet her, but... She is absolutely raging, aren't you? Did not like me picking her up, which is fair. We're trying to work on that, but she's so mad. I know. It won't be for long, I promise. So her vet visit went well. She had a really good look in the back at her teeth. And from what she can see, they're perfectly fine, which is such a relief because I was so worried that she was going to have something seriously wrong. But... One thing that she did point out to me that I just completely missed because I didn't have anything to compare it to is that her tail is not very fluffy. Um, and looking back at the pictures they sent me when they first got her, she did have a very fluffy, bushy tail, which she doesn't really have anymore. So I'm not sure whether that's due to stress or due to her not, not having enough things in her cage to chew and she's just an out of boredom. But yeah, she has a very, very sparse tail. So hopefully that is going to grow back her aircon has arrived thankfully because it's just about to start getting hotter so this is what it looks like i can't say if this brand is any good yet because i've not used it but i am gonna have to start plugging this in so glad that she's now got an aircon i need to get some sort of cord protector because she is definitely gonna try to go for that <laughs> dust is on this floor but as you can see behind me I bought the attachment to the little zoo Ventura to make a second level ready for Nebula's friend to come home. He is coming home on the 12th of May. We are driving all the way to pick him up from the rescue and that is next Sunday I think so not too long to wait now. This was the earliest that I could pick him up and adopt him. He wasn't ready, he was still recovering from them neutering him. So, wasn't ready until now. I've done my very best to get her a friend as soon as possible. She was alone in a previous home for about a year. She's only been alone here with me for a couple of weeks whilst I sort everything out. And I think I reserved him the day before I picked her up. So, had everything all planned out already. And I'm just so excited to meet him. It's so exciting getting one chinchilla, but obviously they are social animals. So getting another one next week is just as much exciting. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here because I think it's been quite a long one. I'm waiting on a delivery at the moment. Honestly, I've spent so much money on chinchilla stuff. I'm gonna make a video talking about all of the expenses that I've had just getting them as a pet for starters because they're not cheap, they're not easy, and it has been quite expensive. So still adding things to her enclosure as I go. And then obviously I've got a whole other one that I need to furnish too. So I'm waiting on a big delivery of like 12 
18 shelves that I've ordered to go in that cage and this cage. It is never ending. Also, the amount that she goes through chew toys compared to rats and hamsters and mice. I was not expecting that. I put things in this cage that look really cute and nice. The next day they are demolished. So going through a lot of chew toys with her. I don't think she's really got much left in there at the moment. But yeah, that is definitely something that is different. Also, I've got a couple of videos planned. Obviously, the next couple of ones is going to be my other chinchilla that I'm adopting. And I'm also going to do a video comparing chinchilla care to rat care because although there is some similarities, there's also a lot of differences that I found. So that video should be up sometime soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one and meeting Nebula. She's not a pet that I can sit here and hold for like the intros and the outros. She is not keen on being grabbed and held, which is quite normal for chinchillas. So you won't see much of me doing that with her. But I hope you guys enjoyed meeting her and seeing her. And you're looking forward to chinchilla videos in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.